Hi again, this is Matt. I uh, thought I'd show you a bit of uh, part 6 which is coming up in my kind of video tutorials. Um, this time I'll be working on the neck, uh, specifically along the lines of the truss rod, headstock and also the uh, neck joint which is probably three of the most difficult bits on the guitar, uh, mainly because of the angles involved and um, the fitting of them. As you can see here, this is the mahogany blank, which will cost you around about 40, 50 quid. Um, this is the truss rod. I use a single style, uh, single style truss rod from a Gibson Les Paul. Uh, not the original designers per Brian's, but it's a lot easier to install, and also it will allow you to adjust the neck if it does bend or bow. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, right. Uh, I brought the um, guitar neck outside um, and fitted it to his jig, which I made and designed to do the uh, four degree um, headstock angle. As you can see, it's just two parallel pieces of wood slowed down at four degrees, um, which I can put the router on and just um, route it down to four degrees from this mark here down. Um, I'll show you how it works and uh, the other one over there is for the 2 degree um, neck joint um, which I'll show you later on. Okay, I've done the uh, top of the headstock as you can see it's now angled at 4 degrees uh, what will happen now is I'll now route the uh, truss rod channel here that'll be about 5mm uh, wide about 10mm deep and then what I'll do is start routing out the adjustment cavity and then I'll flip the uh, neck over and do the underside of the headstock uh, by which time I'll mark out the uh, headstock again and cut the headstock out with it at its correct uh, angle and then uh, we'll start work on the um, neck joint which is 2 degrees or 2 degree pitch ok this is the first few sweeps of the truss rod channel um, you can see I'm using here the router with a a side, side guide on which follows the side of the neck um, as you can see I leave it in block form so it follows the side of the neck just going up and down and you just gradually increase the depth as you go each sweep uh, the router piece I'm using is 5mm uh, a straightforward cutter as I say you go about 10mm down straight down the middle of the neck and then you route the adjustment cavity in the headstock um, and also the little stopper on the side as you can see this is the truss rod I'm using this is a Gibson truss rod as you can see there's a stopper there which will go there and the adjuster which goes up this end I'll do a few more sweeps and I'll show you it installed um, in the next part Okay, I've finished off the truss rod channel and I've finished off the adjuster end and the stop end. So I'll have a, have a little look at this. So you can see it slopes up here. There's enough room to get an Allen key or an Allen wrench in there and to uh, tighten up the truss rod as you can see. Uh, it's about 10mm deep the channel and it just slopes up towards the uh, headstock. Um, and this will be protected by a cover and also when the truss rod is in it will have a mahogany fillet strip over the top which will cover it as there is about a 5mm gap between the nut and the start of the um, adjuster part um, moving down you can see a little T 
here where every stopper actually fits in and this secures and anchors the truss rod when it needs adjusting. So I'll grab my truss rod yeah, and let's see if it fits. If I measured it right it should do. And there you go. Fits in there. All flash through the top. And if it behaves itself, there you go, it fits in nice and tidily in there. The next part will be gluing this in with Araldite at the, uh, at the stop tail there, and then the mahogany fillet strip over the top, which seals it in. After I've then cut the um, headstock and also uh, do the underside of the headstock angle, and then we'll be on to uh, the joint end here, and then uh, we'll be on to shaping and putting on the uh, fingerboard. I hope this uh, reveals how you make a neck and hopefully it will help you build your own. Thanks for watching.